going to Sakichi Market. Market. <laughs> and then we got Team Labs right after that. So super, Cannot. super fun day. Made a little pit stop for snack first and an umbrella because it might rain today. First stop is Matakoya and they specialize in tuna. Tom and I got these two. And you basically order through like this machine. It's kind of like a vending machine outside of the store. You put your bills in here and then you just click it and then the change will fall out and then you get a ticket. And they're packed right now even though we came in early. So we're now in line. Oh my god, we just came out of Matakoya. It's good, pretty valued. It's very, very fresh. Yeah, my bowl was only $12. Like, that was amazing. Like in Canada, $12 gets you six mid-tier California rolls. There are lineups at a lot of the popular restaurants right now. It's getting pretty packed and it's not 8 a.m. yet. so much at the market so we're gonna go early to team labs and wait in line but that is our bus right there and we have yet to cross so i don't think we're gonna make it but it's a good thing we left early what was your favorite part of Sukiji? the best part was the tuna skewers that were grilled mm, why it's really juicy it's very worth the price and i don't think we've ever had like grilled tuna like that yeah that's yeah. true we have not as you experience the artworks with your entire body. Oh, you can hear the sound the of the water. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This is so cool! It just feels like a giant bean bag. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Super dark.
We are next. We are next time. Oh my god, it actually smells like a garden in here. This is crazy! That was the most surreal experience. 10 out of 10. I thought it was gonna be overrated, but it was actually like really worth it. Yeah, like it felt so magical being in each of the exhibits. And apparently, Planets isn't even as good as Borderless. So I'm really excited for when Borderless opens up because we will be back to check it out. back at Tsukiji for lunch but I saw these socks and I was like they make great souvenirs so I got a couple pairs and I had one more but I dropped it so now it's in this bag <laughs> and it's raining it's like the lines are so long we're gonna go to Ginza instead but first we're stopping at this matcha shop stuff in a locker so that we have space to go shopping and I'm currently charging my phone at a charge spot because we have very low battery from team labs and now we're off to Ginza but I actually cannot finish my rice anymore. Tom naturally always finishes his. I feel like I don't really vlog much at night because Tom and I are just so tired around dinner time because it's like 4 a.m. in Toronto. We're still kind of jet lagged and it feels like we're always like falling asleep around this time. So we're gonna do a little more shopping after this and then just head home for the night. 